Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Linux Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have seen the JJ Thompson's Plum Pudding model. Well guys, this Plum Pudding model is widely accepted in that particular time in 19th century. There where the, uh, this model is proposed by the JJ Thompson is widely accepted. And like in that time, like the scientists began experimenting on that particular model. But guys, in 1911, Ernest Rutherford came with the another experiment and he derived the another nuclear model of an atom. He's told that there are the some kind of the uh, faults in the Thomson's uh, plum pudding model. So he conducted a gold foil experiment, a scattering type of the experiment and he found the different structure of an atom. He derived a different structure of the atom from his experiment basically. So guys, over here in our today's video, we are going to learn about the Rutherford's uh, gold foil scattering experiment and we are going to conclude that what is nothing but the size, what is nothing but the structure of an atom. So we are going to conclude the structure of the atom over here in our today's video. So guys, please watch this video till the end and if you are new over here on my education channel, Genius Academy, kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon. So guys, without wasting any time, Let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the Rutherford's gold foil experiment. So guys, uh, the proposed model by the JJ Thompson is the plum pudding model in which he states that there is a like the charge, positively charged particles are there and inside that particular positively charged cloud, there are the electrons. It means if a model is look like this and if I pass a highly concentrated beam of alpha particles through that particular atom like the alpha particles would charge throughout that model throughout that uh, uh, atom and on the screen on the opposite side of the atom will be getting a straight line of the rays straight line of the alpha particles so over here guys that was the initial statement which later becomes a false statement basically after conducting the gold foil experiment by Ernest Rutherford in 1911. So guys over here in 1911 Ernest Rutherford conducted a scattering experiment basically why the scattering experiment like over here in this in his experiment like he used a thin gold foil. This particular thin gold foil why gold foil approximately this particular thin gold foil that consists of around 1000 atoms basically so over here the less number of the atoms the high accurate the results can be detected over here so this is the reason he used a gold foil which will be very thin which is very thin and he placed that particular gold foil at center and around there is a, around this gold foil there is a circular shaped like a detector is used like a circular shaped fluorescent screen is used like the fluorescent screen that we have seen in the case of the cathode ray experiment like the same screen he used but in a circular shape there is a small opening at the front side and a uh, guys over here the highly concentrated beam of the alpha particles is allowed to pass uh, on allowed to embed on that particular uh, gold foil basically so over here a uh, source of the alpha particle is there and this particular source of the alpha particle is covered by the lead box. The lead box is having a small opening from that particular opening the alpha particles were scattered in a straight line basically and it will hit this gold foil. So guys the earlier productions of the Rutherford was that if the plum pudding model is correct and it is widely accepted then the beam of the alpha particles which is there which we which will go through that particular gold foil should there should be a straight line basically if the plum pudding model is correct but guys he observed a different phenomenon over over here he observed different things when he uh, like the allowed that alpha particles to hit the gold foil there the some of the alpha particles like they moved through that particular uh, atoms and they hit the screen the opposite side on the screen the some of the rays were deflected by the small angles and some of the alpha particles were bounced back oh, so he was getting the different results over here like it means this the proposed model the plum pudding model became 
false over here like the plum pudding model was not correct over here so guys he proposed a different thing well guys the sum of the rays so he made a list of the observation the sum of the rays are passing through that particular atom it means the atom uh, there is a space empty space in that atom the sum of the rays are you know slightly deflected okay it means at the center it means at the center of the atom there is something which is having the higher high density which is some something that is having higher energy and higher density basically so this is the reason when the high energy and the high mass of the alpha particle hits the atom the some of the particles were deflected about the small angles so this is the second observation and in the third observation he showed us that the some of the alpha particles were bounces back it means uh, these alpha particles directly hit at the center and they bounces back it means the mass which is there of the particle which is there in the atom will be more than that of the alpha particles so this is the reason they bounce back so these are the three observations he made and he hypothesized he is the theory he hypothesized the structure of the atom so he showed us that the atom in the atom the most of the space is the empty the electrons revolves in the orbit and in the center there is a high positively charged a uh, nucleus is present so and this particular nucleus is about 10 raised to 5 times less than that of the size of the atom so over here guys he proposed this model and he conducted this particular gold foil experiment so guys this way the proposed model of the plum pudding gets uh, false over here become false over here and the this rutherford's model become widely accepted in the 19th century in the 19th 11 he conducted that particular experiment and he derived the structure of the atom so nowadays guys this the structure of the atom is con uh, can be called as a nuclear model of the atom so over here guys we have learned the gold foil experiment by ernest rutherford in 1911 and we have seen the different uh, like the observations of that particular gold foil experiment we have discovered the nucleus which is there lying at the center which will be having the higher energy higher mass we have discovered the nucleus over here the nucleus is lies in the center and the electrons are orbits around the nucleus basically there is a, a space between this nucleus and the electrons revolve so guys in this particular video we have learn about the whether uh, rutherford's gold foil experiment i hope you like my video if you have any kinds of queries any kinds of doubts please leave a comment and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel genius academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video please stay tuned with engineers academy